What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. Want to see a really cool EDC flashlight that's basically just like the Olay i5T but slightly better? Then stick around. Upon unboxing the Olight i5R, you'll find the instruction manual, a C-type charging cable, a customized 2.4 volt, 1,420 milliamp, 14,500 lithium ion rechargeable battery with an integrated C-type charging port, and of course the i5R itself with a standard Olight two-way pocket clip. The i5R is made of aerospace grade aluminum and is rated IPX8 water resistant. It has an impact rating of 1.5 meters and weighs in at 60 grams or just over two ounces with the battery on board. I'll leave the tech specs from the manual on the screen now just in case I accidentally leave out any details, so pause the video here if you want to see the manual and the box details. One important detail about the i5R's new custom battery is that Olight makes a point of telling us not to use the battery in any other flashlight because it's specifically designed for the i5R and they don't want us using it in the old i5T or in any other AA operated flashlights for that matter. Hey guys, this is the moment of truth. I really want to know why they don't allow you to put the 14500 in the i5T. So I installed it in the i5T. I'm going to turn it on. So let's see what happens. <laughs> that really wouldn't happen. What are you crazy? No, you probably just damaged the light itself and it might actually just blow out the LED. It might even smoke a little bit. Who knows? It might not do anything, but I'm not going to try it because I like my flashlights the way they are. However, you can use the following AA batteries in the i5R, but the run times may vary. And here are a few batteries that I've tested. During my run time test, I used four separate battery types in four separate i5Rs on the high mode. One used the standard included 14500 battery, another used an Energizer Ultimate Lithium, another used a standard alkaline rail vac, and the last one used a rechargeable nickel Energizer recharge. I had to run a completely different test for the Energizer recharge and that ran for four hours and 25 minutes before completely depleting and it got up to a max temperature of 95 degrees fahrenheit or 35 degrees celsius after about two hours of use the i5R using the rechargeable 14500 battery dropped out of the race first after three and a half hours and then followed the Energizer Ultimate Lithium at the five hour mark and then finally the Railvac Alkaline after 24 hours, but only because I had to stop the time lapse because my camera ran out of memory. I also wanted to point out that the i5R steps down to a 150 lumen mode to protect from heat and save battery life after 10 minutes so the run times aren't at the 350 lumen mode continuously. During my thermal test on the high mode, I watched as the thermal camera tracked the hottest spots on the lights as they heated up. The i5R using the 14500 got up to a max thermal output of 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius, and the same goes for the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. The light that got the hottest was the Railvac Alkaline coming in at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius after 53 minutes of use. During my recharge time test using my Anchor 65 watt Power port 3, the customized i5R 14500 battery took just 3 hours and 12 minutes to fully recharge from completely depleted, which was better than the suggested recharge time in the manual, which was three and a half hours. Now let's go over the modes, lumen outputs, and general operation of the Olight i5R. Okay, guys, now we're going to go over some of the button pushes for these lights. Now we have the i5R on the right and the i5T on the left. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison for you guys right here, right now. So the button pushes are the same for the light. Essentially, you half press, you go into the low mode, that's 15 lumens. And then you half press quick again after that half press and you go into the 350 lumen mode using the 14500 battery. Now you'll notice right away that it just jumps right into the 350 lumen mode without any issues. The old version, the i5T, when you go into the low mode and then you go into the high, you'll notice that it almost blossoms. See how the light just kind of blossoms? It ramps up slowly. You don't get that with the i5R. It just goes boom. You're right into that 350 lumen mode. You're also only getting 300 lumens with this high mode on the i5T. So I'll do a little brief comparison side by side right here for you guys. 
See how this one ramps up slowly? Do it again. See, you're right into that 350 lumen mode. Boom, you're there. That's the one thing. That's the one thing that's really, really mainly different besides 350 lumens versus 300 lumens. Um, and also the fact that this uses a rechargeable, C-type rechargeable 14500 customized battery. So pretty simple operation. Obviously, you guys, it's just like the i5T. So you just hold the button down. You know, you click it to make it stay on. And then the same thing when you go into the next mode. It's very simple to change the modes. This is just the half press momentary on. This is the full press. And this is the full press. The only really difference on the outside of the body, you can't tell them apart at all. Obviously, this, this is why it did two different colors. Um, except for the gnarling on the tail cap. I mean, that's really the only difference. And obviously, the one says i5R and the other says i5T. So Now let's check out some of them beam shots. The i5R has a max beam distance of 64 meters or 210 feet and a max candela of 1038 on the 350 lumen mode. The LED color tint is a cool white coming in at about 6500K and utilizes an Ospram P9 LED. All right, guys, now we're outside with the Olight i5R and I'm going to throw this in the low mode. This is what the low mode looks like. And I'm going to compare it with the i5T. The i5T is going to be on the right. The i5R is going to be on the left. This is the i5R. This is the i5T. I'm going to throw just the i5R into the high mode. And that's what that looks like. We're 20 feet away from the railings in front of me. And now I'm going to show you a comparison with the i5T. So the i 5 R is on right now. I'm going to turn the i5R off and I'm going to throw up the i5T in the high mode. And that's what that looks like. And now I'm going to put the i5T on the right and the i5R on the left, both in high. So that's what these look like from 20 feet away. All right, guys, now I'm coming into frame with the i5R in the 350 lumen mode using the 14500 battery and that's what this looks like when i'm out in my yard the tree line is about 40 feet away from me in front of me here and i take a few steps forward and i am about 10 feet away from this bush here in front of me and we are in the 350 lumen mode now on the left side i'm going to keep the i5r and on the right I'm going to be showing you the i5T. And I'm gonna walk backwards and show you guys what the beam pattern looks like on the ground in front of me. So that's what this looks like. Now I'm gonna turn around. The i5T is gonna be on the left and the i5R is gonna be on the right on the screen right now. And that's what this looks like as well. Now I'm just going to have just the i5R, and this is what the i5R looks like. I'm going to shine it up into the tree over here, so you can see above me in the tree. That's what that looks like. And I'm about 30 to 40 feet away from the top of that tree, or the middle of that tree right there where I'm shining the light. And now I'm going to bring in the i5T, and that's what the i5T looks like. And now I'm going to bring in the i5R. And that's what the i5R looks like. And now I'm gonna bring them both in side by side. And that's what they look like. And now I'm gonna walk off camera with the i5R. My pros for the i5R are the run times are just as good as the i5T, but now with the added benefit of a proprietary 14500 rechargeable battery that you really can't use anywhere else, but you also have the ability of using other AA batteries from the designated list in the manual. The biggest pro, in my opinion, is the instant response from the light when going into the high mode. The i5T had what I can only describe as a weird ramp up when transitioning from low to high, whereas the i5R transitions into the high mode without that weird ramp up.
My con for the i5R is that it's not a huge leap in lumens from the i5T, which gave us a max lumen output of 300, whereas the i5R only gives us 50 lumens more, which is an almost unacceptable step up when you're using a customized proprietary 14500 battery. There is so much Olight could have done here that they just didn't, and I feel like they were holding out on us a bit. Of course, you gotta keep in mind, I'm sure they're exercising a bit of caution with having too high of a lumen output too soon ever since their Olight Warrior mini debacle. Uh, maybe they're just playing it safe, I don't know. But either way, I really enjoyed the Olight i5R and I'm looking forward to seeing what other cool little EDC flashlights Olight will come out with next. So if you're thinking about grabbing one of these cool little lights, you can pick one up in the link below for just $36 on the Olight website backed by a five-year Olight warranty. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help out the channel, please consider visiting preparedguy.org and click on the donation link. There you can donate any dollar amount and it will help me offset the overhead cost of running the channel since I buy all of the gear that you see on this channel out of pocket unless otherwise specified. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.